Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back with another amazing and really interesting video for all the aspiring data professionals and my lovely data community. And yes, this video is the continuation of my SQL playlist where I am covering some really amazing interview questions specific to SQL. And these questions were asked to me in the interviews for the data engineer role in different top notch product based companies. So as of now, if you haven't watched that playlist, do it right now, check it out and practice those amazing questions and today I will be discussing another really interesting SQL interview question which was asked by Uber when I was interviewing with them for the data engineer role. This is really important for you to practice and before moving forward like this video right now so that I can bring more and more amazing videos for you guys and also if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel right now and press the notification icon and do let me know in the comment section which topic related to SQL do you want me to cover next time and definitely I will bring some important interesting interview SQL related questions for the same topic and there is one really really amazing announcement for all the aspiring engineers who want to work with the world's most famous company and that is Amazon but the question is who will made it possible for you and that is geeks for geeks jobathon partnered with Amazon and yes with the help of this jobathon you can get hired for three amazing job profiles one is SD1 where the required experience is one plus years SD2 with two to three plus years of experience SDET that means software engineering in test that to two plus years of experience and the cherry on the cake the registration for this hiring challenge is completely free and this hiring challenge will be conducted fifth of every month back to back for next three months so don't miss out this really really amazing opportunity to get hired so this is the complete job description you can pause the screen and read every single detail the qualification for each profile required skill set and what kind of work you will be doing everything is completely mentioned here and also I will be providing this link and also I will provide the registration link in the video description make sure to check that out so that you can register yourself as soon as possible and this is the page for the hiring channel where every single detail is mentioned for you but the important highlights are there will be 23 questions in total and it will be a combination of coding questions related to DSA and some of the MCQs as well and this question will be of total 200 marks and the duration will be two and a half hour that means two hour 30 minutes and again you can pause this screen so that you can read every relevant information related to the contest and the important instruction like how many questions will be there and the markings negative marking and the marks breakdown for each segment of the entire contest so what you guys are waiting for opportunity is knocking your door i have provided the registration link in the description register yourself as soon as possible and fulfill your dream to work with amazon so this is the entire problem statement of sql interview question which was asked by uber so here everything will be given to you. I will explain the entire schema input, the problem statement and the expected output. And again, I will repeat the same thing. Once I'm done with the explanation of the problem statement, make sure you don't jump onto the solution part instantly. Read this problem statement carefully, understand it. And based on your understanding of SQL fundamental basics, whatever you know, try to solve this query by your own. So do it and paste your solution in the comment section. Don't edit it and I will definitely review it and whatever will be the best solution and which will be matching with the my solution as well. Definitely I will pin that comment. And also I would be really interested any out of the box solution or any mind blowing solution. I would be really happy to see that. So here you will be given a simple table related to the students data and the table name is here marks data and its schema is student ID subject and marks right and this input will look like this where you will be having a student subject and marks. This is the student ID and one record will be there for one student and specific to one subject. So here these three are the subjects you can consider these things like more apart from these three subjects there won't be any any subject and marks will be present for every subject for each student right. So there is no missing data kind of thing also here. So three records for each student one for English then science then maths and these are the marks obtained by these two students right there can be many more records as well. So this will be the input and don't worry I will provide this table definition script in the video description so that you can use it and set up it in your local machine and try out this query. Now this is the input part and for the problem statement that was very simple invert this table in given below format. So this format looks like a student and now here this is a complete inversion where the values of a particular column which was named as subject and those values are 
now becoming the column here itself. So this would be the expected output where student ID and the subject name should be treated as a column and the marks will be listed down in this fashion. Okay, so now I will explain what was my thought process. And this is for those people who have at least decent level of understanding of the SQL part. So in my first attempt, I definitely talked about the pivot concept in the SQL. So if you haven't heard about this thing, make a note of it like the pivoting in the SQL. So you can search this thing and try to do some study around that, how it works and how you can apply that concept. That's why in this solution, I'm not gonna focus on that part because many of you might not be knowing that concept, like what are the pivots in SQL. If you know, that is really good. But here we will not be solving this question uh, with the help of pivot. And that's the same thing the interviewer asked that I don't want you to solve this question with the help of pivot. I want you to use your fundamentals of SQL very, very basic operation and try to solve this question and make sure you are specifically thinking about this table and use your fundamental. Again, listen this line two, three times, whatever I said, use your fundamental specific to this data set. And what he was actually trying to highlight that don't try to write your query in a generalized way, because if you replace this student data with something else where let's say the values of subjects are too many distinct values then if you are just solving this question with a very specific operation then you won't be able to generalize it so that's why he wanted to test the fundamental that's why he asked me to not to generalize it but use some basic concepts and that's what i would also request you all that use your basic fundamentals that how you can play around it and try to create this output. And now I will talk about the correct solution which I proposed and that solution was done with the help of main three things, aggregation function, case when statement and the group by operation. Yes, with the help of these three basic operation, I was able to solve this question and yes, it was giving the exact output which was expected in here. So first I will explain that approach and also the intermediate output and operation. And after that, I will execute that query into the terminal so that you can see the actual output as well. So first, let's not apply the aggregation function or any group by statement and just try to write the simple case when statement and how it will look like. So select student ID, right? And after that, what we can do we need to actually derive three columns specifically one column for English, one for science, second for the maths. So that means I need to put three case when statement for sure. That's how I will be able to get those three column names right in my final output. So first write that case when statement. So what would be the first one? So case when subject equals to English. In that case, what I need to do, I need to get the mark, like I need to get the marks for the English. So marks and else zero, so else zero. At this moment, this, this might look little bit confusing to you, but don't worry, I will explain it. So here, what we are trying to do, we are trying to do it in a very, very logical fashion, right? If in the column of English, you need to print the marks of English, and here in the group by operation, what will happen? The entire chunk will be created for you. And you cannot just pick the one single record. You need to somehow apply the aggregation function logically. At the end, you are getting this value 88 only. So once you will apply the group by operation, one chunk will be created and you will be iterating over there. So as soon as you saw that subject is equals to English, I will pick this mark. Apart from that English, whatever I am seeing, I will pick zero so that at the end, if I'm doing the summation, so 88 plus zero plus zero will become the 88. So now let me write these three case finish statements very quickly and I will explain that intermediate output. Then it will be really clear to you. All right. And from the marks data, right? So after applying this part, and here, if I simply add this group by kind of thing, right? Group by student ID. So first thing is very, very common to understand is you cannot apply the group by operation if you are not using any aggregation function in your this select operation. This is the very, very basic thing without that one, right? Whatever column you have selected in group by only you can use it here to present it in the final output. But apart from that, whatever column you are using, you have to have applied the aggregation functions. 
right but here just to explain the intermediate output let's say i haven't applied any aggregation function as of now so how it will look like right after this one so first group by will be applied on this student id one that means these three records will be selected and this is a one chunk for the student id one right so since we have applied three uh, like column iterations here or you can say three columns we are trying to derive here in the final output so for this one one time iteration will happen on these three records within the group of the student id 1001 similarly for this one again iteration will happen on these three records and again for this column maths the iteration will happen on these three rows okay so after the iteration how this will actually look like let me quickly write this thing student id comma here it will look english comma science comma maths right so 101 so if i apply this first thing right this uh, first column derivation which was for english here what we are doing as soon as i saw the english i will pick the marks value so now apart from the english if i see any other value i need to place the zero but that will be placed in the second row right not in this column because this is something which we haven't iterated yet i am specifically talking about this column which is named as english so now let me copy this record and we'll show you that how uh, this will look like in total okay so here if we see english first time when my cursor was pointing on to this value obviously this got matched and 88 i picked but if i am here science that means this condition will get failed because this value science is not equals to english here and i need to pick zero so i need to pick zero here similarly for the maths this will become zero because maths is not equals to the value of english like the actual string value of english now if i come to this column this part of the second case when statement which is this right so that means the similar kind of iteration like the three time iteration i did here one then two and then three so similarly the three iteration will be happening for this column derivation as well so what will happen this condition so first let's say my cursor on this point english not equals to the value of science that means i need to put zero here similarly what will happen science definitely equals to science what will happen 90 i will put here and similarly what will happen i need to put the zero here because maths is not equals to science now i need to derive the third column and i need to do this similar operation and iteration here so for first one like maths this cursor points to the value of english so maths string not equals to english string that means i need to place the zero here similarly for the science it will be zero and when maths will be matched with maths it will become 85 right so these were the values for student one and similarly if we copy this part and try to replace same thing for the this one right so what will happen for this one this will become 70 this will become 80 and this will become 83 right so now you can here quickly assume if you do this the group by on this column right and apply the sum on the outer of the case when statement this is a very very important thing to understand like how to use case when statement along with the aggregation function so most of the use cases you will find in this similar fashion where you are applying the aggregation like sum average min max outer of the case when statement so here the case when part derived these value at the end in my final output i just need one row right and that one row should contain the marks so if we apply the sum function so 88 plus 0 plus 0 will become 88 here 90 plus 0 plus 0 will become 90 here in the first row and 85 plus 0 plus 0 will become 85 in the first row and when we apply the group by we can only display one distinct row for the group by elements okay so here if i apply the sum function this will do everything for me whatever i have explained here okay so this is the part so now quickly if i copy this thing and run it on my terminal you will be able to see the desired output 
So since I have already created this table in my local and this is the data and now here I'm pasting that solution which I have prepared, we can see the final output, right? This is the expected thing and we are getting the exact same thing here. So yes, that was the solution which I proposed and you can see very, very basic things. We used case when statement, aggregation functions and the simple group by method. So anyone who have written this exact same solution or was on to the right direction in the similar way. So congratulations to you. Like you have solved this Uber interview SQL question. So that's what I had for you guys in this amazing video related to the SQL interview question that too for Uber. So I'm pretty sure this will be really, really helpful and really informative as well. And if you find it informative, make sure to like this video in big, big numbers and share these videos, this entire SQL playlist with your fellow friends who are trying to crack the data related interviews. And also don't forget to paste your solution into the comment section. And if you're new to the channel and liking this kind of amazing data related content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon. I will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care yourself and your family too.